Good salutations, everyone. Today I have for you the Beats and Nixon White and the AirPods. And wow, they only come in white. And it looks like my assistant today is going to be Phoebe. Say hello, peeps. Say hello to the interwebs. Or not. Let's get started. Two violet wireless earbuds from Technic from Apple. We have AirPods which ship, which was like the end of last year, like December what, 22nd or something. And these ones which just came out this weekend. Uh, right away, I like how Apple does not use plastic or does not put any plastic in the packaging. As well as Beats has this window, which is which isn't a product, but like how Apple's trying to be more eco friendly. One of the best things about both these devices is, is they feature Apple's proprietary W1 chip, which makes syncing between your iOS devices very easy and fast, and also easy to manage. It's a lot more convenient than conventional Bluetooth technology is. Let's start with the AirPods before we start with anything else. And these, these AirPods were provided by me by my good friend Daniel Margrave. These are actually his. I'm going to take good care of this unboxing. So first thing you know is it's, it's all paper, or mostly paper. The box goes right off and right below you here. You see if this is designed by Apple in California. Um, inside here is the Quick Start Guide. Warranty information, and surprisingly, no Apple stickers. And then here, here are the AirPods themselves. Looks really cool. And it, below this, we actually have a 2 meter or 6.6 foot, um, 6.2 foot lightning cable. So here they are, here's the AirPods. Okay. Everyone knows to sync them, it's really easy way to do this, put them next to your iOS device, like your iPhone, iPad, and maybe even your Apple TV, I'm actually not sure about that. Just flip them open like that, and they pop up right there on the screen. This is tap, and that's it, you're done, you're synced up, it's pretty cool. So let's give them a listen, and prepare. I love those, they look so much smaller in person. So the right one, and the left one. Oh wow, this is pretty really weird that they make a noise, that's pretty cool. Um, music. Well, they sound actually really nice, they sound really comparable to Apple's earpods, but they sound maybe just a little bit better. It sounds like there's more bass, more clarity. It seems like they're a little louder too. So, so yeah, I don't, Seem to follow my ears no matter how they try. <laughs> wow. I'm actually surprised how well they stay in my ears. And they're surprisingly comfortable. Wow. Now I'm dizzy. <laughs> so let's get this open. First thing you'll know is you can't actually open from the top like I thought you could. The way to open this actually from the bottom. Right, you just want to do is want to pull this tab right here. Just like that. Oh, didn't make a satisfying um, snapping sound, I just pulled it off. Oh, and then we have like a little tab right here. And this is still just a snap on the Okay, so then you pull this little tab, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, maybe that full click. And it opens right up. Oh, that's now. So right here, I don't know if you see it, it says um, talk, listen, Beats. Inside, this is pretty cool. You get the extra set of tips and the wingtips. And you pull those out. And oh, on the back, you have your lightning cable and the carrying case. And it looks like in here is all the product information. You have code for Apple Music. Um, quick start guide. I'm guessing this is a beat sticker. Well, next I came with Apple stickers. Important safety information. Um, information about the warranty. And uh, nothing more in the box. I don't know if it be this much work to get earbuds out. Okay, 
Oh, that one's free. It's bad. Play on the cable. Oh, it just comes right out. Uh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Because, wow, they really are light. Let's see how easy it is to pair the Beats headphones. So for these ones, it's a little bit different. You have to press power button, which is located okay, on the right side right here. Button, and hold it next to your iPhone or iOS device. And it instantly comes up. I don't know why I chose the black one, but hey. Let's go here just to unlock to connect. I'm gonna push, push on that. And it says connecting. And done, that's it. It's pretty much as simple as the Apple AirPods. Right, let's put these on. Wow, the first thing you notice is like, they're surprisingly comfortable and they get in my ear and it's like wearing um, earplugs. I can't hear anything around me. I just heard my voice and it's very loud. So. Let's try to see some music. And it was noticeably a lot more, a little more bass than the Apple AirPods. Wow, okay, the clarity is actually a lot better. And it's, I think it sounds clearer because it actually goes in to my ears and I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I don't know if you guys can hear me because all I can hear is the music. I can barely hear myself talking. So let's see how easy this pull out. Once again, they don't really come out. This is kind of annoying though. Here on the Beats headphones, the module that features a lightning port has a simple Beats logo in silver and adds a nice touch. Ah, the back, you have the carrying case, it just slides right out. And a lightning cable, which I'm probably not going to use, I'm just going to leave it in there. So it's been a few days later, I like to compare them to the Apple AirPods. These are the lightning versions that came with the iPhone 7 Plus. First thing I noticed, AirPods are actually slightly lighter, but not by much, only like maybe five or 10% lighter. The Beats X still remain very comfortable and very nice fitting. Compared to the AirPods, the Beats X had a little more clarity in the, in the mid ranges, the high ranges, and even the bass compared to the Apple AirPods. I was quite impressed by the quality. Another thing that Beats X has going for it compared to the AirPods is it has these built-in controls which allow you to control the volume up and down, take calls, and even invoke Siri. As opposed to the Apple AirPods, which have a more limited functionality like double tap to invoke Siri, a single tap to pause and play, but the taps can be configured to respond to other commands. I actually don't feel comfortable all talking to Siri that much in public all the time. Plus, Siri doesn't always understand what you're saying or there's a lag sometimes which is rare but it does happen so i like with the built-in controls with these because it's like pretty much wearing your everyday apple earbuds but now they're wireless interesting note these are the first beats product designed in-house by apple and the quality really shows not only in the build but also in the sound quality included in the box are three sets of ear taps and small medium and large and two sets of wing tips Although I feel more comfortable with the current setup, so I'm probably not going to use any of these extra wing tips or ear tips at all. The Beats X comes with a silicone carrying case. It doesn't provide charging like Apple's AirPods case does. The reason why is because the Beats X actually features something called Fast Fuel Technology, which allows you to get two hours of playback on just a five minute charge. And I believe you can charge the whole thing within about an hour or two. I actually don't know how long it takes because every time I need to charge it, I just plug it in and the next time I think about it, they're already charged. The Beat 6 also featured this angled ear tip design that fits snugly in the ear surprisingly well and is very comfortable for long playback. Another great feature about the Beats X is they feature these magnetic ends that click together, which is really great and they feel really comfortable around your neck. An interesting story is about exactly 10 years ago, almost to the week, next week will be exactly 10 years ago, I was walking around in Hollywood or Los Angeles, I'm not sure, and I had this pair of really expensive, really nice Sony earbuds, and I wore them around my neck like a scarf, thinking they wouldn't fall off. I was walking around for several hours, and then I looked down and I noticed I didn't have them anymore. I actually retraced my steps, but I never found them ever again. 
So hopefully something like this would be really nice. And hopefully I learned my lesson not to do that, put them in my pocket. There's two things I don't like about the carrying case. The first one is it's made out of silicone. Since Apple owns Pete's, I was kind of hoping this the carrying case would be made out of floral elastomer, like the sport bend, instead of silicone because silicone attracts a lot of dirt and dust very easily and pet fur. So we always have to be dusting this off to keep it clean. So with floral elastomer, it's very resistant to both dust and animal fur, and that's one of the reasons why these things stay so nice and clean. The second thing is I wish it had a sealed end, so when I store the Beats X in there, I know they're secure and they won't fall out no matter what I do. These are actually the first Beats products I've actually ever owned. Because I've heard the stories online and the reviews how you don't get much quality build or sound-wise for the price you pay. Plus the word Beats has never ever appealed to me, because I'm not a fan of, of hip-hop or rhythm or blues that much. So something that has a word Beats, I didn't really care for it. I was like, maybe it was called like Rhythm or something else, it probably would have been more attractive. After using these for a few days, I can honestly say that these are some of the best headphones or earphones I've ever used. Now, Apple's in charge are pretty amazing. The quality is amazing. The sound quality, the build quality, everything about these, these earbuds is fantastic. And they're very comfortable and I'm looking forward to several years of quality experiences with these headphones and I can't wait to make memories with them. Living with cats can sometimes be challenging, especially this guy. He loves to tear up my lightning cables and my ear pods and destroy them. I've got through so many ever since we got him, but I still love him. Which is really great because I discovered these, um, these lightning cables from a company called Side, And they come with a built-in Velcro strap which makes cable management and storage really easy. They come in almost 5 feet in length, which is almost twice as long as Apple's standard 1 meter or 3 foot lightning cable. I feature a super tough nylon weave with a metal core, which means they're military grade. They flex and bend very well and are very rugged and so far they seem to be very porthos proof. They're called Side Metal Lightning to USB cables and you can get them on Amazon and eBay for about $16. Well, that's going to do it for us. We hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button because it helps the kitties and I out a lot. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So that's going to do it for us. Bye, guys. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Cashmere. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye, guys. And as you know, she likes to, to, um, to sync them. It's really easy to just open. I think that way, of course, everyone already knows it's really easy. Just um, put them next to your air. Your, your. Wow, they sound pretty good. Pretty cool. They sound very similar to the standard Apple AirPod. Air. The Beats X comes with stick to the script. Stick to the script. Okay, stick to the script. You guys are still here? The video is over. You can go now. Why did you tell me they were still here? Wow. You can go now. Bye, guys. <laughs>